Bob, I want to thank you all for coming to our passing of our new total canoe, our new canoe now. so fierce that she was burning thousands of acres of full forest. And the Hawaiians recognized the resource was dwindling and to ensure the perpetuity of the resource, of course, the canoe in the days of old was like our computers today. You can't live without it. They, the Hawaiians, the Polynesians could not live without the canoe. So they instituted the conservation method rather than Take the log, take the full log, dig it out, waste 80% of the, of the log, and net 20% in the form of a canoe. They reversed it, they made planks out of the tree, and they wasted 10% due to milling, milling, the, milling the, the bowl of the plank, and they netted 90% of the usable tree into a canoe. This is uh, this is an education for the for the paddling community for, for Hawaii as a whole. This method of building a canoe is one of them. A plank full of canoe, remnants of a plank full of canoe were found in California and Chile, South America. Koa, koa is grown only here in Hawaii. No other place in the world. So the koa canoe that were found in Chile and, and uh, the West Coast could not have come from anywhere other than here. And they were carbon dated by scientists in 1000 AD. 492 years before Christopher Columbus. And so, you know, it's really my honor to be here with the blessing of this canoe in a very, very traditional Hawaiian way. As in most Hawaiian blessings, you see the kahu, the person that's doing the blessing, holding a bowl of salt water. But because the canoe spends most of his time in salt water, our kupuna used coconut, the coconut water, or the juice from the coconut for the blessing. With the understanding that the coconut grows up in the skies, it grows up towards the heavens, and that the water of the coconut is pure, sterile, untouched.